hey Marlene, to create the team name template, put the names and the number, like you said, here's the one in Athletica at half inch, and here's the one at a 1.25. Now, I selected them both and did the align horizontal center, so they'll be aligned here. Then you need to select them, but now if you need them a different color, so let's say we want the lettering a different color, you can actually select it, make the color you want, it will recognize the different colors. So when you get the ready, you just select both objects, you go up to Object, Create Team Name Layout, this pops up, and you'll want to set it into the set of custom, and you'll name it, I'm just going to name this one Marlene, and name one comes first and name two comes next, click OK. And now it's, um, I'm going to override it. Well, I'm going to name it Marlene 2. So click OK. Now, if you want to use this, <clears throat> you go to Team Names. We'll go to Layout. Then you make sure it says Custom here, and then you find... Marlene 2 here, so you're going to grab it. You're going to click OK. Now you're going to put these down here. Now to get them to go to name 1, name 2, remember in the quick names, you need to have, um, let me just do a test, and then go to quick names, and to copy and paste, you would go Clark, comma, 24 Marlene comma 32 that's not so you can do that now you're going to send both of them over there and you can actually see what they're going to look like here then you're going to click OK then you're just going to place them on the screen now remember you have to generate the stitches when you use them and now you can see both of them listed here and they're centered under each other.